Hey, it's Matt Kelly for the California Fuel Cell Partnership. We're doing another test drive of the future. And I'm here today with Matt McClory. He's senior engineer for the Advanced Hybrid Group for Toyota. Did I get that right? Yeah. Now, Matt is in charge of the FCHV ADV. It's a Toyota Highlander. Right, right. Well, so this is, I mean, most people are aware of the Prius technology. Uh, this is a little bit different uh, because it's based on hydrogen. Mm. And so in the case of the Prius where you have an internal combustion engine running on gasoline, here we've replaced that with uh, hydrogen and a fuel cell. You still have the same battery pack, you still have the same power electronics, and so now you have no gasoline, you have no internal combustion engine. I love it. And so. this vehicle, actually, we've heard a little bit about, that it just got back from a rather important road trip, 431 miles and 68 miles per gallon. Talk about that for a second. Right, so that was actually a good demonstration of the real-world driving range mm -hmm. capability of the vehicle. The, um, the real key thing about that is that, one, it shows that fuel cell technology is on par with conventional gasoline vehicles when it comes to driving range mm. and that was really made uh, possible by two key advances for this vehicle this latest generation has um, a 25 percent improvement in the fuel cell system efficiency we were able to reduce a lot of the losses uh -huh. in some of the components some of the components that support the fuel cell stack some of the electrical components we were able to make them better mm. and then in addition to that we we're able to recapture actually more energy out of the braking oh, okay uh, yeah. with the regen with the regen that's the, great. the second thing that allowed that driving range is that we nearly double the amount of hydrogen storage on board but the key thing is that we were able to double the pressure mm. by doubling the pressure we were able to to get almost almost double the uh, quantity of hydrogen from the previous vehicle. Wow. And so right now, you're able to get that driving range, uh, 431 miles on this one trip, mm -hmm. with um, the tank capacity, it's basically six gallons of gasoline equivalent. If you compare that on an electrical basis, that's about 200 kilowatt hours. Uh, on the outside of the vehicle, there's a lot of aluminum body panels uh, in the doors and the quarter panels on the roof. And that allowed us to do a lot of weight savings. Mm. In addition to that, there's been some aerodynamic improvements. And, uh, you know, if you can improve your aero, that is a big effort uh, in uh, reducing your, uh, in, in improving your fuel economy. Wonderful. As we walk to the rear of the vehicle here, I want to specifically point out the 70 MPA and have you talk about that. Sure. Well, 70 MPA, um, it's, uh, this means uh, the, a level of pressure mm. that the hydrogen is stored at. And MPA is uh, a unit of pressure. It stands for megapascals. And, uh, 70 megapascals is equivalent to 10,000 psi, for example. Mm. So, and the uh, the reason that we point that out is because this model has a higher pressure tank than the previous model. The okay. previous model was at a lower pressure, and we've effectively doubled the pressure for this model, Wonderful. giving us more, more driving range. And of course, as we go to the rear of the vehicle, no tailpipe. Right. Actually, you have to kind of. <laughs> search underneath it uh, and uh, when we turn on uh, you know you can see some water that may may spill out a bit and we can right. see some right on the, uh, on the and ground not only there that, too. the tailpipe is not only in a different location it's also plastic mm. right because you know the, the exhaust is, is air right and, it's, and water so it's hot air and, and water but it's not that hot it's not like a regular combustion engine well I'm ready to go for a ride all right